Lightweight, baby! Let's go! Yeah, buddy! Lightweight! Okay. You heard it here first. The next Mr. Olympia is right here at the office. It's a secret. <laughs> so don't tell nobody. <laughs> Thank you guys. Of course. Appreciate it. That's sick. sick. I love that. Hey, what's happening? How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Brendan. Good. 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 Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. What's going on, man? Hey, love. How you doing? Team. How are you doing, Ronnie? Oh, good. You all right? This is my wife, Jelson. How are you? First thing on the agenda, let's let's get some food, right? Yeah, you do that. That's the first thing I asked for when I came in here. I like it. She told me you love cliff diving. I love it, dude. Dude, I love that. Isn't that isn't that weird though? Like I don't, I'm not a big fan of like skydiving, bungee right. jumping. Yeah. Do any kind of things like that? I used to. Uh, Go swimming every day, twice a day. Is that right? But yeah. you do anything like crazy, like jumping out of planes? I would, I would, I would always <laughs> get on the diving board. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We, we'll see who can do the most flips. See, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm not doing the other I, stuff. I was, but... always, I was always doing like two flips. Yeah. Damn, you I'll do just, a double flip? Uh huh. Double. I can also do the, the gainer. Oh, you know? those are oh, sick. Oh yeah. I love gainers. Yeah, yeah gainer was my favorite. One of my favorites. Yeah. Damn, that's sick. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's crazy. Thought, you guys have right, really uh -huh. No, that's a, that's probably literally like my favorite thing to do. My thrill, whatever, is to like just go cliff jumping in the water. It's awesome, that's especially in the Philippines. Like oh, yeah. the water's crystal clear. So blue, bro. It's oh, a yeah. different shade of blue. I was a lifeguard. I, I was uh, certified by the Red Cross. Uh, I don't know so, if there's anything you didn't do. Yeah, yeah so, for real. <laughs> that was my summer job. Yeah, you know, I, I would uh, work for. How old were you when you were lifeguard? Uh, see, I got my certification when I was 20 years old. I was lifeguard at like 19, and I had to save a guy, and he almost killed me. What? And I'm like, oh shit, I need to take a class on this. <laughs> oh my! And I did, and I, and, and I found out how he, he almost killed me. When somebody dying, the first thing they do is you think that you water. know. Yeah, you're trying to get your head out of water, so you grab a hold of the first thing that comes around you. And I was the first thing that came <laughs> came to him. Oh, man. He used you as a flotation <laughs> Yeah, he used me as a flotation. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I was strong as hell, you know. <laughs> yeah. And he was a little kid. Oh, man. Uh, he probably would have drowned me. <laughs> and that's the first thing I learned uh, uh, when I took that class. Yeah. That's wild. Yep. You need to talk to the manager and just get him his own Mr. Olympia, <laughs> yeah. the keen Ronnie Coleman spot. Every right IHOP should have a spot. <laughs> I know, right? I'm yeah, I love this place. Man. <laughs> you ever have like Denny's? You ever... uh -huh. I worked at Denny's. Did you? Uh -huh. I worked at Denny's for two years when I was big farming. But IHOP over Denny's? Oh, oh yeah. More yeah, definitely. I know. I'm there with you. You get the Bacon. same thing every time? Uh -huh. Hey, Mr. I would, Consistency. I would, I'd, I'd get off from work at 11, and I'd be at IHOP at 12. I work from 12 to 4 at IHOP. Every Saturday and Friday night. <laughs> so, even though I was working, doing bodybuilding, I, I still had part-time jobs. Hold up. <laughs> Bodybuilder, police officer, lifeguard, and he worked at security. a breakfast diner. <laughs> yep. And security. Uh-huh. I, I did security for my apartment complex. It sounds like 28 hours in a day to me. Yeah, man. I was I was a hustler. You can't, yeah. hustle, you can't out hustle me. <laughs> yep. Born hustler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, you got the Roddy Coleman special. Huh? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> It'll be like the king, man. Uh, yeah, that's my uh, old man special. Right. That would have been 12 egg whites. Sure. 12? <laughs> and like three or four pancakes. How many times do you think you've ordered this meal? Million? <laughs> a million? A million times. You were like an average million. I had a Viper I had to get rid of. I love the Viper. That's actually my dream car. Mm -hmm. I used to love the Dodge Viper. Mm -hmm. Mine too. <laughs> That yeah, is. <laughs> Get out of here. You, you, you didn't put my 2003 video on that while I did the splits in that? Oh my gosh. Oh, that don't even look real. <laughs> Get out of here. That needs to be right there. Yeah. There we go. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs>
You gotta have fun while you're up there, Derek. You yeah. Gotta, you gotta act the fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta act the fool. Yeah, I'm having party. That's my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Might have me thinking twice about my next posing routine, man. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> Hang out more often, he's have, gonna have me dialed in, you know. <laughs> I know. Splits, twerking. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't have twerking out when I was doing on stage, though. <laughs> Ronnie invented twerking. Uh, uh, else I would have did it. I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> Yeah, I sure would. All right, what are we about to do now, bro? Well, we can get a little workout in, do a little back work, a little arm work, have a little fun. Hell yeah, 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 buddy. You know how we roll. <laughs> how you so I'm gonna show you how to train back. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Don't so nobody go in the bathroom like 35, oh, 45, 45 minutes to an hour. So damn, dude. <laughs> 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 dead fish. Dead fish. Wow, dude. <laughs> The very first logo that I ever oh, had I, back when I first turned pro. So this is the original D Lunsford oh, shirt. You. Okay, thanks. Oh man, these are nice. So yeah, appreciate that. At least they're soft and comfortable. Hey, yeah, yeah, and the right size too, huh? Yeah, I know we texted them, make sure they got the right size. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. The only size I can wear now. You can go on a lot smaller. <laughs> I don't know about I used, that. I used to be three X. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I'm just so. a little bitty two X. <laughs> like little bitty. Yeah, yeah a little bitty. Yeah, yeah, carrying all this muscle around. A little bitty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least so. I ain't like, uh, like a, a medium like my, my, like my buddy here in film. Uh, oh. <laughs> Put some size on him. I can't go anywhere with this guy. See my little gills I brought over there for you? What's that? Oh, are these over here? Uh huh. I know, man. I, I was looking at those like, ooh, boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. A little extra motivation. I know, man. That's why we got to get it today. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, as much as I want to go over there and grab it and feel it, I refuse to, to get close until it's, yours. until it's yours. I like that. Exactly. It's a good mentality to have. I don't know. I just refuse to do it. I, I'll never want to touch one unless I earn it. Oh, yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh -oh. Lightweight. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. <laughs> love it. The Ooh. new. Yeah, buddy. I love it, man. You the only one got Cut it like yours, I like, or did you just blow them out? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, they're too much bigger these days. What's that? T-shirts still don't work. Thank you, man. I love that. Yep. Extra you motivation, especially for like that. Daddy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No you. problem, bro. Anytime. Yeah, buddy. Night wait. Time to get that workout in. We right now, we at the office. The real office. The Ronnie Coleman Signature Series office. And we got our own gym. I got the up and coming Derek Glunkster in the house, and we finna do some back and some biceps. Yeah, yeah buddy! buddy. Lightweight! Light All right, Derek, let's warm it up. Warm it up, warm it up. Good, man. Good warm up. What, uh, what, what's the most you go to on the stiff legs? On stiff legs, I've done like five plates. Okay. But hey, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not today, to be honest. So now I usually try to keep it at like. Two or three plates, maybe three plates, okay, max. Good. Yeah, a little bit like slower tempo, uh -huh. a little bit more controlled. Five plates. How many reps? Uh, like 12, 15. Yeah. As many, as as much weight as you can, <laughs> as many times as you can. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There you go. Yep. I wait. Go. You still lean as hell. <laughs> What's that? I said, you still lean as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably need to start upping the calories, to be honest. It's about, it's like about six weeks out. <laughs> That's my problem. I probably, like I said, probably should start eating a little bit more. Yeah. I want to start putting it on, you know. But I feel good, man. I'm like too low to mid 250s in the morning. Feel good there. Last year, you know, I think I had a little less conditioning at that weight. So I think I've added probably a good five pounds of muscle since, you know, last year, since competition. So yeah, what I did try to do every year was put on between five to six pounds of muscle a year. Yeah. And normally that, that's the most I could get, five to six pounds. I mean, that's solid when it's pure lean muscle tissue. That's a lot of, a lot of size. That's a lot of weight. A lot of people think, I think it was 2003. What I did was in 2002, I came in to the Olympia kind of flat. 
I yeah. feel, you know, good shape and everything. And uh judge was like, man, you kind of small. I'm like, yeah, y'all said I was uh, too big. I was too big in 01, you know. Yeah. So I, I was just trying to come in with a little better conditioning. It was like, well, do you want to keep this up? You might want to reevaluate that. Yep. So I said, okay. They want to go to war, I'll take them to war. And I went to the gym every day with that attitude. Yeah. I put as heavy as I could go on every machine. I would, I would like stacking plates on there. Stack wasn't big enough. I, I put I, I put another plate on there. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, they, they, want, they want me to take them to war. Can I ask you something? And that's what I did. Did you ever at any moment in your career think, man, if I, if I do something that's gonna cause a serious injury, this could take me away. Was that ever thought ever in your mind that there could be a moment where you just went too heavy or got a little too reckless? Never problem in my mind. Never. Never even thought about getting in there. Never. I did kind of overdo it one day. I went, I, this is why I won the Olympia though. I did the Olympia one year, it took about a week off. You know, and every time I went in the gym, you know, whatever I did, I, I thought, you know, a week ain't gonna hurt me from taking off. So when I got ready to do leg, I was doing squats. I always put six plates on and I got 12 reps with it. Well, on rep number eight, I heard them go, Pow! I'm like, what the hell with that? And I dumped away and I, the guy was spotting me. I'm like, man, did you just slap me? Because I was struggling a little bit with that. He's like, no, man, I didn't touch you. As soon as they said that, pain was down my left leg. Oh, shoot. So what happened? What do you I finished the workout. <laughs> I mean, what I went, I you... me went immediately. i like, dude, I'm done with squat. I went immediately to the leg press. Yeah. Stacked the weight on there. And I had hamstrings after that. I did two exercises, hamstrings. I went home, took a shower, put my uniform on, and I was going to work. And I'm like, fuck, my back's still hurting. You know, it always stopped hurting when I got out of the shower when I did leg. Yeah. My, my back hurt me every time I did leg. I always had back problems my whole life, my, yeah. whole, my whole career. Well, this day, I'm like, something wrong. I ain't going to work. Fuck, I'm going to, I'm going to emergency yeah. room. I went to emergency room, herniated this. Oh, shoot. For taking a week off. And I lay on the floor for like two weeks. And I'm like, man, I'm getting ready for the honor class. This is my first time ever getting accepted. I'm taking my ass back to the gym. I ain't going out like that. First thing I'm going to do is squats. I went over there. <laughs> severe, huh? How many weeks out were you? I was, uh, I was like 10 weeks out. Oh, man. So like the time you really yeah. want to be cranking the training. Um, yeah, yeah. Like 10 weeks out. I'm like, fuck, I ain't, I ain't going out like that. I'm going to kill his fear, basically yeah, what I yeah. said. And I, I put as much weight on it as I could. And I did three plates for 12 reps. So if I'm picking up what you're putting down, the moral of the story is don't take a week off of training. <laughs> no, the moral of the story is don't go heavy. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So after that, I, I kind of like start, started over from, yeah. from my workouts. Yeah. So when I went back to the gym after, after I lay off, I, was, I wouldn't go over like one plate. Yeah, for, right. for a while, and I just slowly, week by week, increased the weight. I go two plates the next week, yeah. three plates a week after that, until I got my strength back. It took me weight. about took me about maybe two months to get my strength back. So yeah, the moral of the story is don't go too heavy too fast. fast. <laughs> go heavy, just not too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go heavy, but not too fast. That's kind of where I'm at because um, after the Olympia, I was training really hard for a month. Then for a couple months, I was backing it off, taking a little bit more rest days, still training. But, um, you know, I, I backed off the weight, gave my body a little bit more of, of rest. And now the last few weeks, I've been cranking up my training again. And I know what I can lift. Yeah. I just want to make sure that I get real comfortable and kind of like each week progressing yeah. until I get there. And then I'll, I'll surpass my best here and probably I would say take me uh, six to eight weeks and I'll start really cranking my training up yeah. like big time. You know how long I took off after the uh, okay. Olympia? Take a Three days probably. Three months. Three months? Oh, three months? I was trying to get my body a break Yeah. and I didn't want to get to the point, point where I was just always working out Yeah. and then have, you know, like a, another life. Okay. So I got real involved with my work yep. and tried to hang out with the family because mm -hmm. I shut everything down when I'm getting ready for the show. Yeah. I don't go to a club, to, right? I don't hang with the family, I don't go to parties, I don't go to 
I don't do nothing. Go to work and go to the gym every day. I don't even hang out with my girl. You probably spend that three months, what, like, giving back to the loved ones, like your girl and your family uh, and everyone. I hang out with my girl. I hang out with the family. Yeah. I go to little parties. I go to the, the, the club. Oh, is that right? I go, I go back to being a regular person. Okay. Basically, yeah. for for like three months. Yeah. And when I go back to the gym, I start all over. Yeah. So like, like I've never worked out before in my life. Really weak feeling. Not, not or weak just, feeling. You know, I, I just don't have the strength I, I yeah. normally have. Yeah. And I'm not trying to herniate another day. <laughs> exactly. And I'm not trying to tear nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, but after about two months, I'm, I'm hard at it. I would say six to eight weeks. I'm like, all right, I'm back into the swing of things, yeah. uh -huh. and then and then after that, I can really start cranking it up. Yeah, that's Absolutely. what I do. Yeah. I take out for three whole months. Dang man. Don't do cardio. Yeah. Don't diet. Don't just, just go hop, to the right? gym. Uh, just the I, hop, but... I I eat hot pockets. <laughs> hot pockets were my were my favorite meal of the day. Yeah. It was something else. A lot of red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. A lot of cornbread. Yeah. A lot of uh, uh, bread. Yeah. A lot of bread. I know because you don't get that, man. I love bread, no man. Bread, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Trev. Cheese, I know you're gluten free. <laughs> cheese and bread. I'm telling cheese you, man. Cheese and bread is my favorite thing to eat. Sometimes you know, it's like, especially like a hot summer day, have a ham sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich. Uh, hot pocket. My ham and cheese hot pocket. Oh, those are <laughs> Ham and cheese <laughs> hot pocket. Microwave and then you pull it out and it burns the yep. living out of your mouth. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you want to throw it across the can't, room? Can't wait to get that hot pocket in there. <laughs> you know, my favorite meal of the day, hot pocket. That's right. <laughs> I had made like two or three of them. Yeah, I was gonna say every good. single day. <laughs> oh, you got this. I wait. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, buddy. You got it. Yep. The amount of dense muscle tissue yeah, that he has I is wait. ridiculous. Set the tone. Yeah, buddy. I wait. Set the tone. Come on. I wait. Let's go, champ. Come on. Let's go. I wait. Come on. It might be too light for you. <laughs> you already warmed up. Great day to get yeah. there. Let's go. Let's go with it. Next up and coming, Mr. Olympia, right here. The office. The future is here. You got the man in the house. Tell me that's not motivating. Let's go. Ooh. Let's do this. Come on. Lightweight, baby. Let's go. Ah. Want it. Come on. Oh. Want this. Let's hey. go. Let oh. Come on, champ. Ah. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Yeah, buddy. Easy. Lightweight. Good. Lightweight, nice. baby. Easy 20. One day, at yeah. we were working out, and then he always comes with his 20 easy ones. Yeah. 20 He's like, 20 easy, easy ones. <laughs> we were working out like for two hours, me, Sean, and Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. And then like I was doing like the skull crushers, uh -huh. and I dislocated my arm. Oh, shoot. I no, literally dislocated his arm. Yeah. Like legitimately. 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 Oh, no. And then He's I, like, hey, you're up. Yeah, you're up. <laughs> He's oh, like, wait, no. oh, you're going to let that stop you? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, bro, my arm's dislocated. He's like, like 20 easy ones, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you're dirty, bro. Every time I, everybody says that people that train with me, they say every time I say it's an easy day today, it's a brutal one. It's never but it's easy. nothing like that, like what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. We're not dislocating <laughs> limbs and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Right way. Another for you. What, going? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a great day to get better. Yep. That's cool. That fan, huh? I like that. There ain't no day like the day. <laughs> the day is the perfect day for a workout. Actually, every day is oh. the perfect day for a workout. <laughs> Stealing it. You see that? Yeah, every day is a great day to get better. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I got that secret weapon. Really lift some weight now. Old Ronnie Coleman wrist wrap. Yeah, buddy. You might need to get your pair of these, Curtis. <laughs> I know. You, you, me... you go from 90 pounds to 100 in no time. <laughs> You'll be unrecognizable. <laughs> Look here. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Lightweight, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. Come on, Jim. Easy one. That's secret weapon. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> the future is in the house. 
Yeah, buddy! Right. Oh! Oh, again? I wait! Okay. Oh, let's go. You know, did you know on my Olympia prediction, you know it was the only one I got right? I know it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I'm like, man, out of everybody, Ronnie Coleman, he believes, man, he believes. You're the only one I got right. I'll tell you what, man, it gave me the extra motivation that last four to five weeks. It did. Yep. If I wasn't right about anybody, I know, I know the potential you got. Thank you, man. I can see real potential from a long mile away. Thanks, man. Out of everybody, that means, that means the most coming from you, believe me. And like I say, your day is coming. Let's make it happen right Maybe now. You, you heard it here first, but again, it's a secret. <laughs> so don't tell nobody. The next Mr. Olympia is right here at the office. Yeah, buddy! Let's go, champ. Come Lightweight! On. This set right here, come on. Come on, King, let's go. Gotta get geek, baby! Yep! Come on. Mm. Yes, come on. Be strong. Oh. Come on, everybody. Again. Two more. Okay, come on. Two more. Again. Again. Yeah. Nice. Right, baby. Nothing. It's deal. Ain't nothing but a peanut. <laughs> you love becoming champion. I had mine. I got my eight. Your time for eight. Come on, Derek. One at a time. Let's go. Go. Come on. Want it. Records are made be broken. You got to want it. Save that <sighs> for the future. <sighs> right, <sighs> wait, baby. <sighs> Lightweight! Uh, uh, Playing with it! Uh, okay! Go! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Oh! That was called real lightweight. Oh. Got, got the wings, you can fly with them. Take off on take let, let, let's take off on this on this uh 747. My man got the wings right here. We are all gonna ride on this back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Well, take us all on a little, on a little, on a little stroll. Aboard. <laughs> yeah, all aboard. Lunsford Airline. <laughs> the Lunsford Airline. I like that. <laughs> I'm feeling pumped now. Two exercises down, and I'm already lit up. I guess that's training with Ronnie Coleman, huh? Right, wait. Let's Hurry go. Up. Let's go. Wide back. Let's go. You gotta get that back bigger. Yeah. Come on. This is it right here. Come on. Masters coming up. Come on. Huge laps. Yeah. Every rep. Let's go. Come on. Give me a Masters, uh, Mr. Olympia. Uh oh. Something I always wanted. <laughs> hey, man. Since Jay, Jay's jumping in, you got to jump in too, right? You know, I got to. <laughs> I let Jay have all the fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wide back, strong lap. Yeah, buddy. Yep, come on, lock it in, let's go. Let's go. Come on, heavy rep. Stay strong. One more. Yep. Ah. There it is. Wait, baby. Nothing. Easy. Setting the tone. Yeah, buddy. All right. Hey, wait, baby. Yep. Go. Let's go. Your turn. All about you getting better right now. Let's go. Lightweight, baby. Right now. Let's get better. Time to do it. Right One at a time. Oh, yep. One at a time. Ah. The future's in the house. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Hey. Yep. Yep. Crazy back. Lightweight. Every rep is swelling. Come on. Yep. Huge. <laughs> was like swelling. Swelling. I wish we would have saw this side. It's crazy. Get that back thick there. Real thick. Yep, yep. Crazy thick. Big chunks of muscle. <laughs> slabs on slabs, man. Yep. Slabs. Slabs of muscle. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Wait, wait, baby. Let's get better right now. This set. Come on, this set. Every rep. Yeah. Strong. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Very specific 
bro. technique to this, you know? Even though it looks like we're swaying and swinging a little bit, he's really like, you really gotta make sure that you're staying engaged with the muscle and keeping that constant tension. So that's what I like about cables in general, but especially this exercise, when you're actually moving your upper body like this, a lot of times you're locked in and you're not moving, you're just moving your, your back. But this time you're actually moving your entire torso. So it's a little bit uh, more of a technique exercise than, than most. So taking notes. Muscle contraction. Yep. Squeezing it. Squeezing that muscle. Okay. Bring it out. Forcing it out, actually. Okay. Yeah, buddy. It's a great day to get better. Let's go. <laughs> no time like the future. Slab on slab on slab of muscle. Don't get no thicker than this. Show them how to get that back thick. Having fun, getting better. Yeah, buddy. First time when I started bodybuilding, coming to the gym, with your bros, your friends, man. You're pushing yourself, you're pushing each other. Yep. Man, I get to do it with eight times Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, buddy, lightweight baby. Let's go, champ. Get this party going. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. One at a time. This yep. is the one right here, come on. Focus. Yep. Stay in it, stay strong. Yep, come on, it's nothing for you, bro. Nothing. 21 easy one. Oh, 21. I thought we were doing 20. All right, I see how it is. One for. One for good measure. How big was your biceps at their biggest? 24. 20? That's just insane, man. <laughs> Feeling them slabs of muscle. Thick slabs of muscle. The future is here. Next Mr. Uh, in the house. Uh, yeah, uh, buddy. Uh, uh, Mr. Owen uh, waiting. Yeah. Okay. Run it back. I think that was 22. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. How's Derek doing? We, Derek doing awesome. He is showing them how it's supposed to be done with them big old, thick old slabs of muscle. Like I, like I said, it's lungs for the airline with those wings. Get them on bigger. Come on. Come on. Crazy. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Yep. Watch out. <laughs> Weight's flying everywhere. Get them 24 to 25. Yeah, buddy. Call you the big arm dude. Nice little warm up here. <laughs> the bad Derek. <laughs> big arm dude Derek. That's a bad knee, y'all. For those who didn't pick that up. Yeah, buddy. Big arm dude. Bad. At Lunsford Airlines, we fly <laughs> Delta. <laughs> Come on, we got one. Yeah, let's go. Come on. One more, one more. Get these on bigger. Too small. Walk around like curtains. <laughs> yeah. Big arms. Hey, yep. Yeah. High way. High way. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, 20. Nice. Watch out. Oh. Yep, yep. Yep. Come on. Uh, basketball in the arms. I know you can do that all day. We ain't got all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Things I got. One of them's all day. The other's all night. You better hurry this up. <laughs> yep. Yep. Right here. Focus right here. Lightweight. Stay in. Come on. Let's go. Woo. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight. Lightweight. Come on. Strong. Get these arms better. Oh. <laughs> Back it up. He's like, Mac, he's <laughs> coming after you, man. <laughs> yes, buddy. Maybe that's the answer. 20 reps, everything. <laughs> Show us how it's done. Let's go. Show us how it's done. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nothing. Easy. Uh, 25 in bicep. Tight on. Basketball 
Big arm dude. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Super bad. Super bad. <laughs> dude, I'm feeling pumped. <laughs> you are pumped. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> and then some, he said. <laughs> yep. Again. Go. Oh. One at a time. One at a time. Let's go. Get Stay them long, big ones. Look out. Here he goes. Lightweight. He's aiming for people now. Light. Wait, baby. Big on dude. Derek. Bad man. Yeah. Go. Okay. Watch out. Oh, just kidding. How was that workout? Oh, man. I'm feeling swole after that, bro. I'm not going to lie. Feeling pumped. Man, it was good starting off with the deadlifts because it was like a full body exercise where I really got warmed up. And uh, that really set the tone for the entire day today. We did the seated rows, one of my favorite exercises for back. Really lit up my lower lats, man, let me tell you. Then we did the lat pull down. We did two variations like that. One in front, like standard version, one behind the head. Uh, again, don't really, really do behind the head very often, but I'm telling you, I felt it today. And uh, yeah, so moved on. That was it for back. Did a couple different bicep exercises, and my arms are feeling like they're about to split right now, man. I'm telling you, it. huge, man. Look at that. Woo. Hey, I'm feeling swole from the pre-workout, the pancakes, and just the motivation being here with Ronnie Coleman at his headquarters, the Signature Series headquarters. We're so, the king. Yeah, man. I'm so thankful I get to work out with the one and only King. Mr. Olympia, eight time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. Um, but yeah, that's it for this workout. And uh, I think we're gonna do a podcast now, right? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, you ready? Ready, man. All right, bro. Really appreciate you doing this. You'll be the first one to sign that. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I would tell you to sign future Mr. O, but. <laughs> I'll have to come back. You have to that? come back and do that. <laughs> hey, I'm honored, man. Thank you so much, man. I'm yeah. honored. We'll leave it we'll like leave, that for leave, now. It needs some space so you can put <laughs> there you go. all of them up there. Just just leave leave this right here. Yeah. Right uh, there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll paint over it. There you go. We'll, the, we'll change it the next year. <laughs> yeah. Two times, Mr. O. I love it, man. <laughs> Three times. Hey, sincerely, thanks, Four for, time. thanks for having me, man. It's, it's oh, man, such an honor, man. I appreciate you coming down. Yeah, yeah. Always good to have a workout with, with a future <laughs> champion. And a yeah. legend. <laughs> How about that? Eight time Mr. Olympia. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the king. The legend. The one and only. All right, let's eat. What's up, everybody? Big Ron here. I'm sitting here with my good buddy, Derek Lumsford. Welcome to the Ronnie Coleman Ain't Nothing But a Peanut Podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm definitely putting this up in the trophy room for sure, man. Exactly. Man, such an honor, man. Appreciate it, bro. Honor and a pleasure, you know? I feel like it's just the first of many. Oh, yeah. I hope. <laughs> as long yep. as you'll have me, at least. Like, 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 like I said, your day is coming. I hope so, man. Means means the world mm -hmm. to me, man. As I was telling these guys, I was like, this blows my mind. That they, <laughs> like, some kid from Indiana, first of all, I get to do this. And then for you to have your support and, and saying those things, just like, hey, I can't even really comprehend just it. Imagine honest. how I feel being from a small town like Louisiana. Yeah. Nobody was a professional in anything. <laughs> Nobody. Maybe. Yeah. I was the only one, so. 
they were saving it for him. Yeah, exactly. To be a sensation yeah. anomaly. And I yeah. never thought I would make it even because of that, you know. Yeah, man, thank you, you so much. Never thought in a million years. Yeah, <laughs> let me know when you're in town. Didn't have a clue. What a day, man. Shit. That was a lot of fun. That was. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It just felt like like we all clicked right away. Just everybody here, and especially me and Ronnie hanging out, having a good time, man. <sighs> awesome day. I hope we get to do this more in the future. I think we will. We'll see. He even gave me this cool belt, which is awesome. It's sick. Yeah? It's so cool. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Just like I was saying earlier, man, like just being some kid from Indiana that was an aspiring bodybuilder, just small town Indiana, Midwest kid country boy and then to be able to just be an ifbb pro to be an olympian to be working with honey rambod have the support that i do with my wife friends family and then now the king of bodybuilding the legend mr olympia eight time mr olympia ronnie coleman to have to ask me to come out to hang out and work out with him and then say the stuff that he does to support me and i don't know man i just I feel really, really blessed and grateful for this opportunity and just having fun, man. That's yeah. it. Good vibes, having fun, and I'm sure we'll be back. Hopefully sooner than later. I mean, I got a lot of traveling coming up. We do, but um, yeah, man. So shout out Ronnie Coleman. Thank you so much, man, for having me out today. It was a blast. Your headquarters is awesome. Uh, hope you enjoy this weekend because I know you have another event the Metroflex that's coming out to Tampa, the brand new Metroflex. So enjoy it. Unfortunately, I won't be in town. I'll be at the Tri-City Classic in Columbus, Georgia and safe travels back home, but uh, we'll catch up again soon. Yeah, buddy! Lightweight! Light <laughs>